this is for round. This is for round three. Please turn it in with your answer sheet at the end of round two. We will remind you then. But please do it. What? For anyone who wants to know, this is our round three is our image round. These are all logos from famous anime. You should tell us the name of which anime it comes from, or if you prefer, you can say what it is a logo for. It is T A I V. It usually gets filled in pretty quickly. You either know it or you just totally don't. It's going to have eight, count them, eight questions. We have a total of eight rounds. At the end of the round, I will tell you the theme of the round, and then I will give you the questions. You may ask for repeats at the end of the round. We're not going to go crazy with repeats, but we will do it. Round uh, seven, six. Round six is our audio round. We will have audio clips. You must identify what anime they're from and who said it. You get one point for each aspect. Uh, all of this trivia was put together by our team. If you dispute it, you are wrong. I don't care if you made the anime, you are wrong. Because I said so. Because I'm the one keeping score. Brownie points for the brown nosers. Good job. Round one. The title of this round is Fictional IPs. We're going to give you the name of a fictional manga or anime, and you have to name the anime it comes from. So, I'm going to give you the name of a fake anime, and you have to say what show has characters that watch it or read it. Can you turn it up just a tiny bit? Does that help? <laughs> yes, so maybe. Alright. So, for example, obviously this is an anime. If I said The Daily Planet, that is a newspaper in Superman. So, What's Superman? you have to know Superman. But that's not what okay. we're doing here. And we're it's doing not anime. anime. <laughs> so, if I name, I'm going to give a title of an anime or a manga, you have to name the actual anime, anime it comes from. Anime that is how it works. Question number one Perfect Crime Party. Perfect crime party. <laughs> and everybody goes quiet. Majority of this shiner box. Number two. Is this one of those things with Star to switch Metadu. Star to switch Metadu. That sounds okay. so I familiar. These questions suck! <laughs> 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 Question three. Gengonger three. Gengonger three. Prison school. Prison school. Right with right. What you think is number three? Go. Question number four. Jiggly jiggly heaven. Yes, I do. We watched it. I talked about it even. You can ask for the sheet of paper if you know. Okay. Um, wait, I think it'll keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what's on that. I got an answer for that. Let's fall in love. Two is a Rama. Yes. R I R O E. Question number six. Could you be the unbalanced? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yes. We all know that one. Could you be the unbalanced? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Question number seven. Helvetica standard. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Oh, you know, I can't watch that. I can never watch the straight face anymore ever since I saw the Snoop Dogg remix. I can never, I can't even name Question number eight, final one of the round. Lido Kun no Daiboken. Lido Kun no Daiboken. Number four is Jiggly Jiggly Heaven. Yes, yes, yes. Was there a Stardust one? 
Stardust Witch Metadu is number two. Number one, number one is Perfect Crime Party. Perfect Crime Party. Also abbreviated PCP. Actually true. Number five, Let's Fall in Love. Let's fall in love. What the hell is he running? All right, whenever you're done, hold up your answer sheet. My lovely assistant, or not lovely assistant, one or the other, will come collect them. I just had these questions on my game. Good game. Good game. Team oh, okay. yeah. Everybody got a streak. Uh, <laughs> Bob Saget and the Spangles. <laughs> wow. Bob Saget raped and murdered the girl in 1992. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> team not last place, we hope. <laughs> that guy's good. That's the name. And Team Kirby. <laughs> The score is I'm winning and you're not. We are tabulating scores right now. We'll let you know at the end of the next round. It's too late. We'll get the answers later. You will get the answer. Do it. So do I. Yeah. Round two. This category is giant robots. Big mega. Happen. Every answer is the big O. Let it go. We ask each other. Number one in the anime Giant Robo. Since it is powered by nuclear energy, Giant Robo is immune to Dr. Vogler's sabotaging of what energy source? Oh my god. Your hey. mother. It's powered by communism. Democracy. Freedom. We're going so far with nuclear. Spelled wrong. Unlike the two primary gunbuster pilots, Jung Freud is not Japanese. What nationality is she? That sounds In the anime Gunbuster, if that wasn't clear. Code Geass is there, sure. I'll probably get it. We're hoping for a Code Geass. Yeah, for Code Geass. I thought it was an Austrian tattoo. So I feel bad. I was going to tell you this thing, but I watched tell me about your parody, mind. not itself. I saw <laughs> bus gun, yes, not gun, not gun, gun <laughs> bus gun. Number three. Question number three about giant robots. This is our weed out question. If you don't know this, you don't know shit about giant robots. <laughs> In the series Gundam, yep. who is the red comet? Sure. Your mom. Don't yell that loud, you fool. Everybody knows that. If you Everybody don't, you need to walk know. out. That's what he said. You don't want them. Okay, well, I'm not going to you over that one. CJR space. Question number four. Number four. This anime was originally intended to be one of the three series used in the creation of Robotech. Oh. But it was replaced by Genesis Climber Mospeda. Oh, Jesus. What? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> There is an anime that was originally intended to be part of Robotech, but it was replaced by Genesis Rider Los Pena. Get chairs and sit. Can we increase our team by four people? <laughs> <laughs> team Super Gay Rides again! Yes. Man, you guys went fast. Look, there's I can see chairs right up there. See them? Number five. Go grab Go a little more modern. Number five. Code Geass. Yeah. It's all you, baby. All you. Suzaku has held two different Knight of Rounds designations. Which two? And you must get both. I only know that one. sounds like two different <laughs> questions. I only know one. You're failing words. To give him one of them quietly. Uh, <laughs> Damn you. Take another drink. Okay. <laughs> yes, the alcohol will help you remember. <laughs> Float to the top. Float to the top. You drink to remember, not to forget. Uh, <laughs> 
Last year I got a cookie ass question right. Well, but now. It's yeah, time. but now I, I don't remember. Close is only good horses and grenades, sir. There's a chair. You know you're leaving us? Ask Galena for the chair. Yes, you say. The left is the left. What is Mazinger Z's famous and often parodied signature attack? Oh, red when I meet him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is Red? He's doing set time shows. Japanese, you don't care. Bad planning. Use your best judgment. What number is this one? I can't remember the name of the attack by the end of this. That's good. No, not ring. No wing screen. Number seven. Number seven. In the anime Big O. Yeah, you think you know it, you're wrong. Roger Smith has a rule that only what group of people may unconditionally enter his mansion. I think it's a oh, <laughs> <laughs> It is his first rule. I heard that yeah, one. Yeah, they did make it. Your mom? Thank you. <laughs> Anyone fall into the classification of your mom? <laughs> your mother. Number one has to be nuclear. Spelled wrong. Spelled in Bush style. There's room over here. We're hoping on y'all's anime knowledge. Are you ready? Number eight. What's an anime? Number eight. That one looks familiar. It's Pat Labor. Woo! Pat Labor. I just screamed. I don't know. SV2 Unit 1 Carrier Driver, Hiromi Yamazaki, takes care of what animals? Cats. Cats. What animals do you think? Cats. Yeah, I can't be wrong. Yeah. Four, five, yeah. maybe they know. Yeah. Yeah. No, they don't. Right. What? The five book says it's good. Number four was the anime was originally supposed to be a robot tech. It was replaced by the majority of us. Some of the Mac guys. I don't want to buy the ideas for one. I got some of the right. What number is that? What number is that? Four. 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 Make something up. <laughs> anyway, we gotta get a picture of that before you get away. It comes from Oremo. Easy. It is the popular <laughs> anime in Oremo. I've seen it. I've seen it, but I forgot the show. It's a wild mega show that the cast and crew of the Nadesco loves. Jiggly Jiggly Heaven is the ill fated anime earlier animated by the director in Shiro Bako. Oh, oh, I told you it was an S. Oh, yeah, I thought it was My answer counts! Yeah! <laughs> Crap anime. 
Let's Fall in Love is the manga done by Nozaki-kun in Monthly Girl Nozaki-kun. <laughs> Love it. Now, Alexander, the fine entertainment of Ichijo. Yeah! Hell of a to go stun. Hell of a to go stun. Hell of a to go stun. That's the sound we need to use for fun. Because one of the most amazing. Spun off a toy that is held by Naru in Love Hina. Oh! I love that. That idea. would hurt, dude, because I knew that one. I knew I knew that one. Well, then what the hell? But I, I played this. Round four for your entertainment value. Round four. We have a guest round. Every single question in this round will relate to anime that was voiced by our two guests. Four or two guests. <laughs> Somebody write it quickly. What bottle of initiator is Tina Sprout? This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
a few balls in there. Oh, yeah. In the anime AKB 0048, yeah, I didn't see that. No. who is the only 77th generation member that wears glasses? It's me. Mike, I didn't even know. Mike? Me. I didn't know. Just put me. And now I just fired. Done. And now I just fired. 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 And now I just Number six. Number six. In the anime Noragami, what does Mineha transform into? In the anime Noragami, what does Mineha transform into? I love that It's like a stupid You gotta pinpoint it. Tits. Number seven. That's the answer for this one, too. Number seven. Unless he killed him. That's all tits. Amy, Saya, and Melty. Oh, this is in Gargantia. Sweet, sweet, no Gargantia. Amy, Saya, and Melty all perform what job? They all have what job? Blowing your mom. No. Closer. I don't know. Like, I'm sure, like, dude, I saw her answer like, like three seasons. I thought it was good. I think it was from season two. I've never got to see that. So far, six and seven are in my Final question of the round. Number eight. Number eight. From the anime. Kitsugi was believed to have died during what play? The sex of the Kitsugi was believed to have died during what play? What play? It's gotta be a good play. Given to us by Sergey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our actual answers for round two. Since it is powered by nuclear energy, Giant Robo is immune to Dr. Vogler's sabotaging of the Shizuma Drive. The Shizuma Drive. <laughs> nuclear would have been more fun. Yeah, it would have. Yes, somebody did get it. <laughs> I'm assuming the team that was screaming the beautiful night over there a second ago. <laughs> Number two. Unlike the two primary Gunbuster pilots, Jung Freud is not Japanese. She is also not Austrian, asking us to tell her about your mother. <laughs> she is, in fact, Russian. Oh. She, is, she is a redhead that is red all the time, because she is a common bastard oh, Russian. Awesome. That's a lot. <laughs> I knew that. So, if any of you have ever seen Original Gundam, the Red Comet is Shaw uh, Aznable. Yeah. The main antagonist of the show. Did anybody get that one? Yeah, did anyone get that wrong? Damn. Yeah. Did anyone get that wrong? That's because one out of eight ain't bad. I would have built That's a preview. Really good. Uh, the anime that was originally intended to be one of the three series of Robotech was Orgus. Yes! Genesis so, a lot of you enjoyed Code Geass and remembered that Suzuku is in fact the Knight of Zero, but he is not the Knight of One or the Knight of White or whatever other random things you can remember. He was also the Knight of Seven. He's a Knight of Zero. Mitsurugi Ryu style. That would be right. Instead, he shoots his fists off his body with his rocket punch. I told you. I said he's a rocket punch. Quiet, you're drowning out by him. You may all thank Clay, who you were all perfect.
rehearsing last year, but I was most more accommodated with question seven. Everybody that said women got the answer correct for Roger Smith would allow them into his mansion. The correct approximation is lovely young women. If they're hot. <laughs> SV2 Unit 1 Carrier Driver Hiromi Yamazaki, the animals he cares for as well as gardening is chickens. See, we're right. Still technically correct. Yes. The most ass we still got it. Chickens breathe. Take a little bit of water. But it's a We will also tell you what the pictures are. The ones that are. It's like, what animals do we take care of? The ones that breathe. <laughs> no, 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 you take it to like, <laughs> My partners say, help me from embarrassing myself. <laughs> Number one is Nadesco. Oh. This is the logo yeah, for that. the Nadesco. God damn it! <laughs> Number two, more fun with Gundam. This is the logo of Xeon from Gundam. Oh. 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 Number three, this is not a penis, this is, uh, this is a, a scar that, the, that Guts has in Berserk. Number four, number three, this is the tattoo that Hellgirl has in Hellgirl. Damn. Number five. This is the logo of Science Ninja Team Gachaman. 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 Number six. Much more modern. This is the logo of Team Lamia Scale in Fairy Tale. It's a guild. Yes. It's basically a scale guild. Yeah. Nerds. Number seven. This is the SMS logo from Macross Frontier. The worst Macross. Number eight. This one is here specifically for the ladies. This is the logo of Samizuka Academy in free. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. Number six. 
Uh, See, we're still in here, bloodbath and beyond. <laughs> Explains why number nine, nine, not last place. No, we hope you're not last place in this room. <laughs> uh, number ten, back up to red, Deadpool and his lackeys. <laughs> number eight, last place in this room, Bob Saget and the Sprangles. <laughs> Do, do people want do people want some Dos Equis? 
Yeah, okay, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna have a keg of Dale Secchi's out there after this round. Yeah, I need more. Number five. Pistol Val. Pistol Val. Pistol Val. Can't see that as the name of an attack. Everybody can be ostentatious. That's also a pretty nice one. Number six. Number six. Is this a J-pop group or an anime attack? Splash Stinger. Splash Stinger. You can't have a band named Splash Stinger. You can't do that. Are you going to go listen to it? You have a band named Stinger. I'll make him do it. Yes, Wait, I've heard, heard that. Somebody else got them for this. I told you she'd take that. Number seven. Yes, yeah, number I'm seven. Striper. Striper. That's gotta be a bad. Okay, he's missing like American. He, no, he's mispronouncing Striper. 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 Probably a fan. <laughs> Number eight. Final question of the round. Number eight. Melt shower. Melt shower. Melt shower. Gimme, gimme, gimme. He's still putting it. <laughs> He's finalizing it. Okie dokie. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. So we are going to we are going to give you the answers from our guest round. And our special guest reader is Caitlin French from Team Kigurini. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the first answer just because though. What model initiator is Tina Sprout? What outfit is Caitlin French wearing? She is an owl. Oh, no, no, he's an owl. He said, what did you say? There totally is. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm going to go this way. Here, all right. Boing defeats Jibril at what game and no game, no life? Shiratori. Number three, Hana Izuzu comes from a family of esteemed what? Ikebana, aka flower arranging. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know my <laughs> According to Anuccio, boobs are just lumps of fat. A prompting Saru to correct her that they are what? Filled with men's hopes and dreams. <laughs>
if anyone wants to go read Dosekis, take a shot. Hold on, I gotta go around. Listen close. Every question in this round is worth a potential two points. You should tell us who said the line and what anime it's from. If there are more than one character, if you get any of them, it's fine. All right, here we go. Number one, listen close. Oh, yes. We all remember that one, right? DLC Tom. DLC Tom. I've got no. I don't know. No audio. Hard to hard to. Wait, wait. I know the same. It's Macross. It's the sound of space. Every space anime. This is based anime. It's great, it's just realistic. You know what that is? That's a sound. It's voices of a different breed. This is not true. It's with me. So that was number one. Okay, I don't know. It's dumb. It's with me. Oh my gosh! It's a dub. I'm out. Okay, yeah. come on, this hentai. You should do this. <laughs> I have a hentai enemy. Number two. Huh? Here goes number two. Here goes number two. Here goes number two. So I don't see you for a while. And you have to go and turn into a real boring bitch. Yeah, this is dumb. I actually know what that's from, though. Write it on this one. So I don't see it for a while. No, we have to keep that. You have to go and turn into a real boring bitch. Yeah, yeah. What's up, bro? If you know it, say something, because otherwise, that, that's the line that I read. I read the line. Number three. Here's number three. Darkness beyond twilight. Crimson beyond blood that flows. Buried in the stream of time is where your power lives. I pledge myself to conquer all the foes who stand before the mighty gift bestowed in my unworthy hands. We've been watching this for like the last fucking three, four months for fuck's sake. Because it goes on forever. So that's what no, literally, is. every... It's number four. Number four. Number four. Make sure you know it. What's the deal with the towel, man? No skull. What do you think? This is the traditional attire for EP. Write it. Write that one. Write it and then we're going to pass it to him for confirmation. No skull. What do you think? This is the traditional attire for EP. Write it down. Write it down and he's going to confirm it, okay? <laughs> yeah, pass it to the character. I know it's a Number yeah. five. Here goes number five. I don't want to hear it anymore. For the last time, giraffes are awesome. I love giraffes. <laughs> Anymore. For the last time, giraffes are awesome. I love giraffes. <laughs> you know it, put it. What's that from? I don't know. If you know it, right here. I'm not sure, know. but I think it's the same thing. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Right. I have a much better chance Quiet of getting it. Quiet please, number seven. 
I call bullshit. <laughs> Magical girls bring hope to the world. Riches bring spare. Magical girls bring hope to the world. Riches bring spare. Yes, that's good. No, no, no. Pass that down. Don't be Tell him. Um, it's the girl. Yeah. The girl. Yeah. The girl. Yeah. The girl. I Here on number eight, the Ocho. I don't kill bleeding hearts or women. Oh, that just sounds good. I don't kill bleeding hearts or women. You know, each of these eights is like eight quotes or nine, and then you Special attack. Here are your answers. Electrical fuzz. That is the spell in Log Horizon. Cheerless oh. attack. <laughs> if you got you watch that series, you can break. I like that series too. It's an awesome it's series. Attack, but everyone else is I know. Number two. <laughs> Exile is a J-pop band. <laughs> Number three. Sexy Zone is also a J-pop band. No, we put a tag. Number four, Golden Bomber is also a J-pop band. Number five, that famous attack pistol valve, no, is in fact a J-pop band. Number six, I don't remember. Splash Singer. It is a special attack in XL World. We did I know it was in XL World. We got two, baby. Striper is actually an American heavy metal band. I know. Yeah. Be, leading it to be an anime special attack. We <laughs> <laughs> put that because he knew it. <laughs> like, we knew the American band. And our, and our always favorite belt shower. Is a special attack in UFO Robo Grandizer. We could have done better. Take my word for it, because that's true. And so right. Wrong and oh so right. In my sexy room. Thanks. My golden bomber in my sexy zone. My golden bomber has been exiled to my sexy zone. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna Go ahead and put it up in your glass. Yeah. It's like a sauna in here. Every day you drink the water. Right answer. Oh, it was oh my God. God. <laughs> Best girl. All right, bonus points. <laughs> Great. Best girl. Best girl. They correctly know that the answer to all of those questions is spelled to me, even when she's not in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all ready for this round? Round seven. The actual round seven. This is all about first episodes from anime in 2015. These are all new anime, not that old. Oh! Oh, I win! Here's how this is gonna work. Listen up, listen up. This is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna give you a short description of the first episode. You have to tell me what the series is. Just just yeah. <laughs> these are all these are new in Japan. Let's put it that way. Released in 2015 in Japan, not the American release. No. How would we have seen it? All right. <laughs> no, if, if you ever seen it on Crunchyroll, the Funimation channel. Yes. Or yes. Blue, that's how. Or Netflix or whatever. <laughs> oh my God. All right, number one. Number one. Which anime? An increasingly bored hero battles increasingly bizarre villains. 
Touch your hand real quick. Got you, got you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Team Super Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Do it now, drive tomorrow. No. Number three. Number three. In 2015, you all and on. At a cheerful schoolgirl chases a dog around her school. Oh, got it. I know that one. A cheerful schoolgirl chases a dog around her school. Oh, what a kick in the ball! I know that that one I haven't watched it yet. Don't look up anything about it. A cheerful schoolgirl chases a dog around her school. Which one? I've heard it gets in there. Wait, I mean, it's so fresh. Number four. Number four. A girl tries to avoid joining her school's band. In 2015, where did a girl try to avoid joining her school's band? I guess that one. In the first episode. <laughs> Nate, quit it! Well, I spelled it wrong, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Number five! Number five! An otaku becomes a war hero when a fantasy king can dance to the We're only five minutes. Natalie's here! You missed your anime. Nate, you to get you off the team. Yeah, one more. I don't have any more cups that I'm. I, I can't. I can't. Like, we can't say no to her. She's so sweet. She's so nice. Okay, number six. Number six. A big guy saves a cute girl from a molester on a train. Number seven. Number seven. High schoolers from Mars stage a hostage rescue in space. High schoolers from Mars stage a hostage rescue in space. We already got it. I think it's wrong. I don't know that's wrong. I think it's wrong. If you're thinking about a better one, give a better one. Who is it? Terrible. I don't. I don't, I don't think he's right. Because I watched one episode of that, and that is. No, no, no. It's not this. I know it's. This is the cockroaches. Yeah. It's it's like a really cute girl. Ready? And the final question of this round, number eight. Number eight. A newbie journalist has his camera stolen by a monkey. Ah, give me back. <laughs> stolen by a monkey. Nerd. <laughs> it's been mainly you two this round. This <laughs> round. All right. All right. Everybody good? Anybody need to repeat? Number two. Number two. Number seven. The number two in this round. A husband and wife play a game of darts in a mysterious bar. Oh. That's the one we don't know. It's seven. We need seven. Yeah. We can have a fucking number round. Number three. Interesting way to say three. Number three. A cheerful schoolgirl 
chases a dog around her school. Number seven, high schoolers from Mars stage a hostage rescue in space. Greece, <laughs> 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 Earth, voyages. Any more? We're good, we're good, we're set. Hold up your answer sheets when you're done. Let us know how awesome you are. You all got all of them, I'm sure. Because we watched every anime in 2015, at least for one episode. You also miss being involved in Tiger Dick. Come on! Tiger Dick! Charlie Sheen's got Tiger's love, but they've got Tiger Dick, so I don't know who It's so beautiful! It's magical! It's hypnotic! Here are the answers to our audio round. It's Wiggly Okay, as it should have been obvious, that was Wiggly Ichan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dr. Ichiro in Angelic Lair. Yes! Oh, wow. Good job, Bloodbath and Beyond. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. It's not gonna stay up there, you drunk. <laughs> what? I got it. So I don't see you for a while. And you have to go and turn into a yeah, real boy bitch. To work. That was days. Yoko from Gurren Lock. No! Oh! I cut off the part where she said, Nia. Wait, wait, look, look at the bottom. Uh, why did you Beyond the twilight, Crimson Beyond the Twilight. Very illusory of time is where your power flows. I pledge myself to conquer. I still think I could have made it. If you had been here, more points! 100 points. That is the Dragon Slave Champ from Slayers by Lena Inverse. Bloodbath and Beyond for their answer in this, that they got like the full name. That's that's badass. Good job, guys. Yeah. yeah. This guy. So, uh, what's the deal with the towel there? Numsko, what do you think? This is the traditional attire for. <laughs> that is Tenchi talking to his father, no yeah. in Tenchi Muyo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because I knew he was gonna do it. Oh my god! So he did accept Tenchi's dad. I, I, I'm so good at him. He's crushed three cups. Yes. I expected everybody to say Tenchi's dad, so I'm just damn impressed. They said, no, we are kidding. I did too. I did too. <laughs> Number five. And yes, the team in the back got this. Wait, us in the back? Or them? I don't want to hear it anymore. For the last time, giraffes are awesome. I love giraffes. <laughs> That was Kaku from the One Piece. Number six. Number six. Huh? Hi. Do you hear that cat talk? Uh, although Artemis is in this scene, he is not in that line. Diana runs into Artemis and Mamaru. Oh Artemis does not speak. That is Diana and Mamaru from Sailor Moon. Oh, Like I said, I don't kill bleeding hearts or women. 
Okay, anyone that thought that was Onizuka, no. Nice try. The team that thought it might be Dark Schneider is also wrong. <laughs> Dark Schneider would totally kill anybody, just want to say. Uh, it's not G Gundam. It is, in fact, Gundam Wing. It is not Batman. What the hell? <laughs> Showing Batman, Batman. Uh, Batman painting naked Robin. You guys, you guys have serious, serious issues. Batman round. That is the most disturbing mental issues I have ever seen.
I want an asterisk. Footnote. <laughs> 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 round seven. Was there a on the wall? All right. Oh, 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 got to the show. Ready? Ready? Is that? Go ahead. I mean, they have names. Okay. Number one. Number one. An increasingly bored hero battles increasingly bizarre villains is... One Punch Man. One Punch Man. Everybody go. One Punch Man. One Punch Even I know. A husband and wife play a game of darts in a mysterious bar in... Death Parade. Death Parade. Death Parade. A cheerful schoolgirl chases a dog around her school in... Gakuburashi. Gakuburashi or School Live? School Live. Oh, is that what happens in that one? Because that's nothing like what I remember it as. Don't tell him you're ruining it. Don't have to do the first episode. Number four. Number four. A girl tries to avoid joining her school's band in... Euphoria. Sound Euphonia. Yeah! Everyone's yeah. 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 And Miss Spellings. Fuck you. Number five. Number five. An otaku becomes a war hero when a fantasy kingdom invades Tokyo, specifically Ginza, in... Game! Game! <laughs> Thus the defense force fought there. Yeah. Don't be game! <laughs> Number six. A big guy saves a cute girl from a molester on the train in My Love Story. Oh, right, Atari, AKA My Love Story. Yes, both answers were accepted. Number seven. Number seven. High schoolers, not high school age children. <laughs> So close. Stage a hostage rescue in space in Classroom Crisis. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I thought you, you knew this. So close. You're bang from the team. David looks up and says, I'm not in that. God damn it. You remember? You I do. I try to. No, I would never watch that one anymore. Anyway. <laughs> Number eight, a newbie journalist has his camera stolen by a monkey in Kekai Sensei. Blood Blockade Battlefront. Yeah. 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 Hey, it seems that name is a fast situation. <laughs> Kekai Sensei sounds so much more fun. Blood Blockade Battlefront. Okay. All right, short break. Anybody need to hit the bathroom before our final round? Short break. Oh.
bunch of random bullshit that you do not remember and you're gonna be like, what the fuck is that? Number one, Naruto. We've all seen Naruto, right? No! In the very first in the very first episode, it opens with Naruto having painted graffiti on the giant mountain of the Hokage. What color paint is he carrying? <laughs> Holy shit, you know that? Right. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty happy right here. It was, it was black in the manga. <laughs> no, Shut, don't listen to anything Josh says. It's totally red. Number two. Like episode, number sorry. two. <laughs> Sane and Shonen Jump. What professional Texas-based team does Cena accidentally <laughs> try out for in Ice Shield 21? Wait, what are these? I gotta read that, please! Ice Shield, Ice Shield 21. Why you get up? What professional Texas-based team does Cena accidentally try out for in Ice Shield 21? You got two choices. Astros. Golden Astros. Astros. What's the Spurs? What's the Spurs? The Spurs. Wait, wait, give me that. Uh, yeah. It's the Texas cow people. Yeah. <laughs> Texas cow people. That's the other day band, okay? <laughs> the Texas, the Texas, Texas. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, that's what they're called now, aren't they? Number three. Number three. And they suck. What American city is Gunsmith Cat set in? Oh, it's in Chicago. Huh? Chicago. Yeah. That's two. Yeah, I love guns. And the Number four. Number four. In the anime Living for the Day After Tomorrow. Huh? In the anime Living for the Day After Tomorrow, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the Japanese title is Asate no Hoko, if that helps you. Tetsu, at one point, wears a tank top modeled after what American sports team? What's with the sports teams? Okay. Well, just say the Yankees. Maybe. <laughs> it's a description of the way the Cowboys season went, but... Alright, back to the classics. Number five. Number five. As part of the Akira project, what number was Takahashi? Takahashi. What number is Takahashi? I think he's five. Right. For me. Yeah. Yeah. She was sniffing, she was I'm just trying to remember because the general says it when he goes back into the room. He's like, number five, go back to your Right after he right after he almost got killed. <laughs> The star of the show is the motorcycle. It goes up the motorcycle. Yeah, we can watch the anime? Yes. Number six. Number six. The anime Battle Angel Alita. What is Elite? What is Battle Angel Alita's actual name? Your mother. <laughs> you are welcome to put whatever you want. I'm sensing a thing with you. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, that was the Batman round, I'm sorry. <laughs> number seven. Number seven. If you came to the lock in at Rick and Rick's party, you should know this question. Damn it! What arcane chant do in, in Chunibyo, in the anime Chunibyo, what arcane chant does Rika use to win a vending machine lottery? I don't know. <laughs> In Chunibyo, in the anime Chunibyo, what arcane chant does Rika use to win a vending machine lottery? Works for me. No one. What part of the monkey is yellow cube? Give me either one. I was more drunk than a Ushikan at that thing. <laughs> Alright, since everybody liked one of my questions in the audio round, here's your one shot of redemption in this round. Number eight. Number eight. 
In Madoka Magica, what is Tomoe Mami's finishing move? Oh, yeah. 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 I think we got a couple of these. We got a couple of sexy zone! Yeah! <laughs> You win! Your pen was used. No very good. Yeah, sure. Very good. No, yeah. Right. Yeah. I thought you weren't going to know the answer. I just said, better rang attack. <laughs> Alright, anybody can read me to Number one. Number one. Yes, he's, he's still looking it up. Dave's still looking it up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we are here. In Naruto, what color was the paint? It was in fact yellow. There was red paint on the mountain, there was orange paint on the mountain, but the paint he was carrying was yellow. What professional Texas-based team does Cena accidentally try out for? I did not include the word fictional. You're welcome. You are very welcome. He tries out for the fictional San Antonio Armadillos. After, after going down to visit the also fictional NASA High School. Is that a Texas? Gunsmith Cats. The popular anime from back when is set in Chicago. Because my is a big fan of Chicago. Yeah, it's my kind of town. Alright, I'm sure you were all wondering, yeah. like what the hell, why are you asking me this question? In Asate no Hoko, Tetsu at one point wears a tank top modeled after what American sports team? I couldn't tell you, I couldn't tell you what sport because it's all sports. It is the UT Longhorns. And that is because, that is because one of the major people that worked on it was Friend of the con, Ikoku Ito, and she included oh, that because she likes us. Aww. We do. We love her. Alrighty. As part of the Akira project, Takashi was number 28. Oh. <laughs> he had a number. <laughs> a number is close enough. Two is an all. Next in line, next in line, Battle Angel Alita, what is her actual name? Rally! Rally! Galley! Oh. Yeah! Galley! God damn it! What is up, Yoko? Which is the name of Rally. Oh. Yes. So close, one letter off. Bye bye! Those are real names! <laughs> Number seven! Number seven! This is a repeat from our time at the lock-in, so I'm sure so a team upstairs got it. What arcane chant does Rika use to win a vending machine lottery? The answer is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, right, right. AKA the Konami Code. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> we seem to have the same phone. <laughs> In Madoka Magica, Tomoe Mami is able to summon a well, humongous giant gun by calling forth her special attack, Tiro Finale. And one of our teams. I've never listened to you again. No, which one type of? I'm never listening to you again. <laughs> Kigurumi thought it was trio finale. <laughs> so did the Tabachi Tea Party, and so did Super Gay. Super Gay. You did. You did get credit for trio finale. Super Gay. Super Gay. 
I appreciate, I appreciate that you tried three different spellings of the wrong answer. Rally. Let the alcohol flow through you. If I could, I'll give you 20 imaginary points for noting that the Cowboys suck. But I still love them. We love them, but we admit it. Yeah. We know what's going on. It's all right. RG3, you're getting along with my dad. He loves the Cowboys, but they suck. Banishment this world. Someone actually does watch Genevio, but doesn't yeah. the answer. Yeah, that was me. Mega Lega High, Mega High. <laughs> <laughs> Make it like a high, make it like a... It goes on like this. <laughs> Number six, we, get, we thought you're great, Love Bath and Beyond. You got, uh, you got both Yoko and Gally. You only needed one. Thanks for doing both. Good try, not in last place. Thinking it was a trick question with Alita. <laughs> Texas does not have an all-stars team. Hey, or, or UFOs. <laughs> what? Bob Saget raped and murdered a woman in 1990. Bob Debauchery Tea Party has an unhealthy obsession with Fast and Furious. Now <laughs> Angelina is not Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> That's most of our moments here. All right, we are calculating scores, and we will let you know how all how horribly you disappointed. I said it myself. Red team sucks. Red team sucks. Wait, no, no, they're not, because they like to tease. All, all sorts of random bullshit. Michael was talking. I'm blue if that was real. We got a Ninja Turtle and uh, We got me with a sparkly face. We got Loki for no particular reason. What? It's not my background. <laughs> <laughs> all the way, some, uh, cat faces. We got a punching cat. We got a bird. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. We got a fat Charizard. We got a dog eating sausages and pooping. We got a Bulbasaur. Team Super Gang. We got a retarded oh giraffe. <laughs> That's Kaku. Do you love giraffes? I love giraffes. Giraffes are awesome. Oh, awesome. There you go. Zoom in. It hits. I don't know what this thing is. It hits. It hits. It's sweating. It hits. A uh, giraffe pony. Is that what it is? All right. Are you ready? Alright, we'll, we'll start at the bottom. Team Alcohol ended in last. Apparently didn't get a single point in the final round. Apparently so. Uh, just above them, also from Team Red, was Noobs Plus One. Jaja's Cookie Quest Double Zero, Gilfs, Deadpool, and Lackeys were all on, in Team Red and all in the bottom. Team Last Red place in blue. The worst blue team. I'm sorry you were in last place in here. Not overall. You can thank you can thank Team Alcohol for setting the bar. Apparently, apparently Team Alcohol did come back all day. At one point, left to get drinks and never came back. Second to last in this room is Bob Saget and the Sprangles. Bob Saget raped and murdered a woman in 1990.
Uh, <laughs> raped and killed a girl in 1990. Tied for six. I'm so, I'm so horribly disappointed in you guys. Team Super Gay. Although you can say it's three times two. Uh, you tie with Team Foggy Memories upstairs. Damn. <laughs> There was two of us divided by. Tied in here for fourth is the debauchery tea party <laughs> and bloodbath and beyond. In third place overall is one piece of love live trash. <laughs> In second place overall, and number one in this room, oh. Team Kigurumi! Oh. And in first place overall, and say it with me, a bunch of dirty, dirty cheers, is Team One Brunch Man. soon, so we hope you all have a good time, have fun over at the hotel, we got stuff going on, and uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, we just finished night two of Rushikon, we finished Punk Trivia, we're all heading to our, back to our beds. <laughs>